When I first was studying for the ministry, I had a double major in biblical studies and also cross-cultural ministry, which was actually missions. Part of what I was doing was I was interested in missions at the time, but I was also interested in the cross-cultural aspect. One of the classes that I had to take was taught by a missionary who had served in Vietnam during a very difficult time in our history here in the United States. I remember during one class, she said, we're gonna have a cross-cultural eating experience. And what's going to happen is, I'm gonna feed you some food, don't worry, it's safe, but you're not gonna be able to ask what it is because in some cultures, it's rude if you ask what it is that you're eating and if you don't eat what's in front of you. So we were all game and uh, immediately she brought the food in that day and so we started to eat different things and we were trying it and there was something that looked like a hush puppy. Now, I grew up on hush puppies, so I loved hush puppies and I thought, ah, that's a hush puppy or some kind of corn fritter or something. And so it was a little round thing and I, I bit into it. And as soon as I did, I knew something was different. And I literally almost gagged on it. it. The taste was so strong, but I had to continue to eat it. My eyes were watering and I could see the professor kind of snickering a little bit. So we all finished eating and then she began to talk about all the stuff that we had eaten. And most of it was sort of benign. And finally, uh, I raised my hand and I said, hey, uh, professor, I have a question. Uh, you didn't tell us what those little round things were that we were eating. She goes, oh, Bob, those, those were calf brains. And I immediately felt the food that was down here back up here. <laughs> Her point was, of course, that we had to learn to eat what was put in front of us because in some cultures, it was rude for us to ask, as I said earlier. Now, it's amazing what it takes sometimes to understand culture, to understand the cultures that we're serving in and where we're living. And as we've become more global, it's interesting to try to understand cultures and the, and the perspectives that people even bring from their culture to our country. That's why it's so important for us to understand what it means to connect with the cultures, the various cultures, with all the cultures that we have here in the United States in challenging times. The church, as I've been saying, is in challenging times. Every day I open up social media, every, just about every day I get a news article about something that's happened in the church, why people are deconstructing their faith. And I think it's because so many Christians, maybe in my age bracket and the age bracket before me, have looked rather at confronting culture instead of connecting with it. But it's more important to connect with it than it is to always be confronting it. And that's what we're gonna be talking about. This coming Sunday, September 3rd, the first Sunday in September, September 3rd, 2023, right here at Community Bible Church here in Dania Beach. We're gonna be talking about how we can connect with a culture in challenging times. We're gonna look at a really interesting story from the Apostle Paul's life, along with Silas and Timothy and Luke, something that happened to them in the challenging times they were facing, but how they actually connected with the culture. And you may be surprised. So we'll be looking at that this coming Sunday at Community Bible Church at 9.45 a.m. and 11 o'clock a.m., two services. We're located, of course, one mile west of I-95, one mile east at 441 at the corner of Griffin Road and Southwest 30th Avenue. Now, if you can't join us in person, you can always go over to our YouTube channel at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you can tune in online but for all of us, it's important to understand how to connect with a culture in challenging times. And we're gonna talk about why we need to do it and more importantly, how we can do it this coming Sunday, September the 3rd. We'll see you then.